We're here in Miami outside the Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Dolphins and site of Super Bowl 54. And today we're gonna have a chance to check out what it's like to have a premium viewing and seating experience at the Super Bowl. So follow me, we're gonna go inside, check it out. But let's rewind for a second. The first thing that comes as experience is a ride to the game. For the VIP experience? Absolutely. What should I expect? I expect uh, Dolphins to win. Okay, that's a bold prediction. Part of this experience is we get our own VIP driving lane so that we don't have to be stuck in the normal people traffic. Right past the cops, free lane all the way to the stadium. This is Hard Rock Stadium, and this is Dan Marino. Go get them, baby. Previous names have included Go get them. Joe Robbie Stadium, Pro Player Park, Pro Player Stadium, Dolphin Stadium, Dolphin Stadium, Land Shark Stadium, Sun Life Stadium, and New Miami Stadium. So here's some facts about the Hard Rock. There are 65,000 seats, is hosted five other Super Bowls. In 2015, they had to undergo nearly $350 million of renovations in order to host the Super Bowl. The cheapest seat for the Super Bowl is about $3,000, and this, this is the most expensive seat. All right, now we're inside the Hard Rock Stadium. We're seated in the 72 Club in the living room box. This seat, if you want to buy it for the Dolphins regular season, is $17,000 for the season. Or if you want to buy it once for the Super Bowl, it's $35,000. It's meant to simulate a living room. It's like a plush Lazy Boy. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is nice. Does this have a massage feature? It's a TV right here. Apparently you can watch this game. Which would be a weird thing to do since you're at the game. But you can also use it to watch any other game. Which would also be a weird thing to do since you're at a game. Oh, it's a remote. You can watch CNN, MLB Network, any of those things. You can actually control the jumbo drama of this. It's not true. And you can plug your phone in so everyone knows what a cool experience you're having for $35,000. So, for those keeping score at home, I can watch a game on the field, I can watch a game on the iPad, I can watch a game on the TV, I can watch a game on my neighbor's TV, and if I pull out my phone, I could watch a fifth game, just like I do at home. So that's what comes with the seat. But if you're paying this much money, you're not paying just for a seat. Let's see where else this gets me. Oh, it gets me on the field, holy shit. <laughs> we encourage screaming. This is literally where the Super Bowl teams will be lined up on the sideline. Be cool if the New York Jets were there, but alas, I don't think they will be. I figure since I'm on the field, I should probably talk to the guy who helps manage it, Todd Boyan. He's the Senior Vice President of Operations. So what is like the best compliment you can get from a player about your field? Usually, you, if you don't hear anything, that's a good sign. Okay. But sometimes you'll hear, hey, recording was great. Uh, you look at two different things with the field. Obviously, people see green grass and aesthetics, but that's actually not the big, most important part. You want to get a tight root zone so when they plant their feet, their feet under them will not slide out. You're basically making sure that the field is in pristine condition where the playing services but all the logos that go along with it. It's good. What do you worry about more, your lawn at home or the, the grass here? I worry about both of them, but I want to make sure this one actually which, is a great Which one looks better, this though? This one's going to be more... This one looks a lot All right, better. there you go, okay. And last question, most important question, arguably. Where do you keep the dolphin? The dolphin? The li snowflake, the live dolphin mascot. No, we don't have that. It's not. No, we don't have that. That's a rumor? That's a rumor. Okay. Ace Ventura is doing you dirty by spreading yeah, that rumor yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk to the man who made this all happen, Tom Garfinkel, CEO of the Miami Dolphins. First thing I want to ask you about is the living room boxes. What was the sort of thought or origin story behind those? You know, just having your own little box down in the, in the stadium where you're down in the bowl, you've got great seats, you've got great viewing, you're comfortable. Uh, you get access to this club, which, you know, we didn't want it to feel like a stadium. We wanted it to feel much more elegant. There's all kinds of different food stations. There's a high-end alcohol. Everything you could pretty much imagine yeah. that you could want, and it's all included in the price. Being rich is famishing. Let's go eat. Go Dolphins. Including this ticket? all food and drink, so I'm going to go take advantage of that. What do we got here? We got some floats. All right. So you guys are serving booze even though you know that Philadelphia fans are here, yes. right? It's good. It's boozy. Hello. Can I get a Bud Light? Thank you. So I'm allowed to double fist. Absolutely, yeah. All right. Crazy, no 
Given that I've eaten all this food, I should probably talk to the woman who made it. Let's go talk to the woman they call Chef D, Diane De La Cruz, who makes all the food for Hard Rock Stadium. How many pounds of food will you cook on a given Sunday? I'm gonna give you the best example. I think I always think about pork butts. I smoke my pork okay. uh, pork butts and, and, and any beef, any ribs in the building. So we can go easily for 5,000 pounds wow. of pork butts in the building. In terms of cooking for the Super Bowl, will it depend on what teams are in it or how will you? You know, we are the home. So we have a lot of guests. For us, it's about some culture in the city. I mean, when you come to Miami, there is so much diversity. Yes. There's so much flavor, there's so much uh, colors, you know, ceviche, frosted pork, cubanos. We want you to come to our home uh -huh. and feel like you can, you're in Miami. What have you learned from cooking for this many people that the good folks at home could use, like a, a tip or a piece of advice when they're throwing a Super Bowl party? You know, what I will say is shop early, for shop sure. Early, okay. <laughs> That's good. Prep early. <laughs> and I think, you know, um, it stays simple. Oh, I bet you throw a hell of a Super Bowl party. I am planning on it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's I my appreciate pleasure. your time. Thank, thank you, you for so stopping much. by. Yeah, and I believe congratulations, Erin, or you're the first Latina female chef of a Super Bowl, correct? Yeah, no pressure, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So my ticket was expensive, but there is one place that's even more expensive. This is the Nine, a set of luxury suites. Let's go see what they got. Desserts, snacks, seats, coffee, or tea. Food! Booze! With more info, let's go back to Tom. So where are we now and how does this, how does this differ from the 72 Club? Well this is called the 9. Basically what we did was we took the top of the 100 level and we cut off several rows of seats and we created 9 suites. And they're outdoor suites. So we designed them to actually feel like you're on the back of a yacht. And then you go back behind the doors, it's like you're going back into the cabin of the yacht. And back here we've got, you know, kitchens that you could do a full service restaurant from. You're actually lower and closer to the field than the owner suite, which is up behind us. Wow. So uh, we think, you know, some of the best suites in all of sports. How much, how much do these go for the Super Bowl? Depending on which one, I think they're five, six hundred thousand dollars a piece. Wow, okay. And I imagine the Super Bowl will be sold out. Super Bowl's always sold yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. We talked to a chef and the CEO and the senior vice president of operations. So we might as well talk to at least one fan. have you had these seats? I've had these seats for five years. So it's worth it? It's worth it. There's no better place to be. And you could probably shout at the players if you wanted to. Oh yeah, you know. There's some stories I could tell, but I'm not going to. <laughs> sure you don't want to tell any of them? No. How are you going to decide who gets these seats for the Super Bowl? <laughs> How good have you been to me? <laughs> I feel like I've been pretty good to you. Okay. Like, we just love right. the game, exactly. you know. Exactly. You know what? I'm coming to New York, so All right, there if you go. give me some good places to go to, Having a good time. Uh, Sam, appreciate you. You certainly welcome. I'll see you in New York. You. All right, and I'll good. see you back here in this seat for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're back now. We're at halftime. Can't film the field because of rights issues, but uh, it's you can see really well from here. It's right in between the 30 and 40 yard line. Um, you're high enough that you have a good vantage point to see the players, but close enough that you still sort of feel like you're involved in the action. So um, I also think you could heckle the Dolphins from here if you wanted to, but of course I wouldn't do that. So, all right, signing off. All right, that's a wrap for today. We got an inside look at what it's like to have a premium experience at the Super Bowl. Sat in the seat, ate in some of the clubs. This is okay. not for a cable show. This is for GQ. Uh, GQ, uh, yeah, I'm good looking. I look like Bruce Willis. Put me on cable TV. We're, we don't. We don't have no access to cable TV. <laughs> what do you have access to? No, I mean no TV. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. We had the premium seating experience, premium viewing experience. We saw the clubs where you can eat and drink. We saw the seat. Met some cool people. Now I'm gonna get in my car. Go back to New York. Inside the lives of athletes like me. I let my clothes and my beard do the talking. Oh, you snap. I'm just gonna be real with you. They're going to have professional hockey players shoot a slap shot at me. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's see how it goes with the wiffle ball. Oh, I got it!